National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hey there, Jonathan Beatty here, naturopathic doctor and health expert at nationalnutrition.ca. Do you ever reach for a cold glass of water and find that your fingers go white and cold and they lose their circulation? Does this happen to your toes in the winter time? If so, it could be something called Raynaud's. Raynaud's is characterized by a vasospasm of the small capillaries in the fingers and toes, or in rarer cases, other parts of the body. Essentially what's happening is a vasospasmic disorder, whereby lack of circulation will lead to pain, tingling, numbness, and a variety of other uncomfortable scenarios. Now, Raynaud's is a poorly understood condition uh, it seems to be associated with autoimmune conditions. Now, when you have Raynaud's disease, that typically onsets a little bit earlier than Raynaud's phenomenon, and it's of what's called an unknown cause. Now, in my personal belief, it's usually related to an autoimmune condition, and I find most people with Raynaud's disease, it's actually the first onset, in my opinion, of an autoimmune condition, where further symptoms take many years to develop. Now, in Raynaud's phenomenon, it tends to be, you know, in conjunction with an autoimmune condition that's previously been diagnosed, such as lupus or celiac disease or rheumatoid arthritis or psoriasis, some of these kind of conditions that tend to be associated with the Raynaud's phenomenon or the Raynaud's syndrome. Now, if you have this condition, it can be quite painful. The biggest tricks to trying to treat it are really managing circulation. Easiest way to do that Clenching and unclenching your hands and toes can be very effective. Uh, spinning your hands in circles to actually, you know, use centrifugal force to force blood into the small capillaries, forcing circulation to happen. And that will reduce a lot of the pain and tingling that you experience. And then of course, in most cases, Raynaud's is brought on by uh, cold. So, you know, keeping the extremities warm you know, wearing good um, mitts or tucking your fingers into your armpits, which is a nice way to warm them up. Also, you know, consider, you know, uh, sitting cross-legged so you can tuck your feet under your legs, keeping your toes warm in the winter time. That can actually help to offset uh, the Reynolds phenomenon from coming on. Uh, other triggers for it can be smoking. So of course, you know, as part of a healthy lifestyle, I do recommend people to quit smoking, especially if they do suffer from Reynolds and managing stress. Uh, stressful episodes can further trigger this because stress actually can cause vasoconstriction. And then of course, any type of environmental stressor such as cold is further gonna magnify that symptom. So if you do suffer from a nodes, one of the things that you can actually take to try and alleviate it is ginkgo biloba. Now ginkgo biloba is a herb that's most commonly used for memory and cognition However, the way it works is by increasing circulation to the extremities. Uh, for cognition, it increases uh, circulation to the brain. Now, in people with Raynaud's phenomenon, what it does is it increases circulation to the fingers and toes, making them less likely to spasm. You may also want to consider uh, taking uh, vitamin C, B vitamins, and uh, certain herbs like rhodiola and ashwagandha to try and help manage your stress response. And the reason behind that is, of course, if stress is a major trigger for your Raynaud's phenomenon, improving your body's resiliency against stress, improving the function of the adrenal gland which regulates stress, can greatly reduce your Raynaud's uh, outbreaks and reduce the symptoms. So if you or someone you know suffers from Raynaud's, uh, share these tips with them, check out more of our natural health videos, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And always remember, knowledge is health.